Hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm Rob and I'm going to get this Raspberry Pi ready for a project without using a soldering iron. Let me show you how. Let's talk about Pies. Raspberry Pies. I've been a fan of these little computers since they were first released in 2012. In fact, I've had one running my home network for about five years now without a glitch. 24-7, 365. This is the regular size Raspberry Pi, which measures about 8.5 centimeters long. It has four USB ports, an Ethernet port, an HDMI display port, and 40 expansion pins into which you can connect a whole range of devices. A couple of years ago, the Raspberry Pi Foundation released its smallest version, the Raspberry Pi Zero. We followed up a year later with this, the Raspberry Pi Zero W, which has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. This small form factor board is great, but to make the best use of it, you need to know how to solder, which I'm not that good at yet. Looking at the Pi Zero, you can see it's a bit smaller than its full-size sibling. It has less ports, and it's missing all the header pins. You either add the headers yourself, or solder your expansion circuit directly to the gold connectors on the board. Now this week the Foundation has finally released a version of the Raspberry Pi Zero with header pins pre-soldered onto the board. This change doesn't come without an extra cost, and pretty much doubles the price of the Raspberry Pi Zero, and raises the price of the Zero W well above the $10 mark. Nor does it completely remove the need for soldering, as many of the hats available for Raspberry Pi still require you to solder your own headers. So let me show you how to solve this problem. I'm using a kit designed and manufactured by Pi Moroni in Sheffield. This GPIO hammer kit comes with three laser cut acrylic parts, two alignment screws, along with hammer header pins and a hammer header connector. You see regular pins pass through the holes in the board and you put a drop of solder on each pin which both wires up the circuit and holds it in place. The twist with this kit is that each pin is spring loaded which serve to both keep them in place while also maintaining the electrical connection. This kit now makes adding headers to a pristine Raspberry Pi really easy. Before you start you'll need the base plate and a roll of scotch tape. The tape can be used to cover up the holes in the base plate which we'll need to stop the bolts falling out. Next add the middle plate. This has reference holes cut in it so that it doesn't damage the Raspberry Pi, as that is the piece we add next. Gently position your spring loaded header pins, and finally the pressure plate goes on the top. Adding that tape lets you pick up the whole jig so you can see that everything's in the right place. Now everything's in the jig, all I have to do now is hit it with a hammer. And that explains why it's called the hammer header kit. But no, I'm not going to hit it with a lump hammer. In fact, the instructions say that I should hit it gently with a claw hammer. And with the jig on a firm surface, give it a few taps. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not that keen on hitting electronics with hammers. So my alternative is to use clamps. Since we can pick the jig up, this is a fairly straightforward process. We just need to apply a little bit of pressure to force the springs through the holes in the board. So what starts off like this, ends up looking like this. Taking a really close look at the board, you can see how the springs are holding the pins in place. And that's all you need to do. And now the final step is to show you that it's working. Remember that other female connect we had in the kit? This technique will work just as easy for that too. Allowing you to fit it to an expansion board or a hat without using solder there either. That's the end of this one, but remember you can hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of any future videos. Thanks for watching.